we're making a start on the ceiling and this is so satisfying. I wish I got the first strip I just took off mm. on camera, but watch this. Oh, I need two hands. Oh, shit. Ah, oh my God, it's just rolling off. This is amazing. My bookcase is gonna get in the way though. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 shh. The light, the light, the light. Oh, the light. No, it's getting caught on the bulb, that's why. No, just, it. Yeah, just twist it. Okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. It's the weight of it. And now my bookcase is in the way. <laughs> this is amazing. It's all open, my god! We're going to reuse this. <laughs> oh my god, for what? Oh, I'm a bit concerned because it's actually rubbing against your top of your left arm. <sighs> you need to That, I mean, if only everything was this easy, that would be so good. This is what I think will be our bedroom, but we won't decide until the wardrobes are fully out of this room so we can actually see it properly. But as you walk in, you have all this open space, which is great. That chimney breast will have to go. It's just in a very annoying position, purely because it's just not wide enough to fit a bed there. You don't want to sleep up against a radiator. Or if you slept on this side, that would get in the way of wardrobes. The ceiling light <laughs> is all the way up there in the corner. So this room is very, very dark. So, I mean, the electrics need to be done in the whole house. It's a bit strange. So yeah, that's the ceiling light. And we have a garden view. That's the beautiful cherry blossom, I think. I think it's a cherry blossom that unfortunately we need to get rid of. And then, here we go. So we have an ancient boiler, that's the tank. So once we change our boiler, which is obviously a huge expense and hopefully something that we can do first, this whole tank and everything in this cupboard will go. And then I'm gonna get a builder to just knock this cupboard out because, because again, it's just a bit of an inconvenient location. It's not ideal because here, you would probably get a double bed in, maybe even a king size bed, but you couldn't put bedside tables on either side and that would really annoy me, especially for a master bedroom. If it was a guest bedroom, it may be okay, but, this cupboard just doesn't need to be here because I think this bedroom is quite spacious enough without needing this extra storage. But once this has gone, I think we may build wardrobes here. This is a few years down the line. We can't definitely can't afford wardrobes right now. They're not a priority. And then maybe a dressing table situation thing and potentially a bed. Although one builder we spoke to suggested having our bed, um, a corner unit as a wardrobe all the way along here and a dressing table here. But again, that's all interchangeable because we won't have wardrobes for a very long time and the dressing table obviously you can move. So, and also the bed you can move. So once this whole room is basically empty, we can just move things around and decide the configuration afterwards. So that's basically the plan. The next step in here will be starting to remove the wallpaper. You know, we need to try and do what we can ourselves, um, ourselves, if that makes sense. So this is our box room, and this was the first room where we started stripping the wallpaper. But unfortunately, we've been told by multiple builders that these walls will also have to be plastered because this plaster is quite old. And I think a lot of them, <laughs> when they met me, they were like, you can try painting over it, but I know that you won't be happy with the finish. It's not going to be completely smooth. I might just try and paint over this myself because then it would save us money because um, it's only a little room and oh actually maybe not because <laughs> these artex ceilings need to be replastered they're awful this is the room with the little nook and we're gonna keep that bench which one guy thought was hilarious but i really like it i think it'd be a really nice reading nook i don't know we have to figure out where we want sockets because currently they're in the skirting boards and that's obviously not ideal and it's not illegal, but when you get them redone, they have to be about a metre high now, currently. Um, I think it changes quite a lot. 
but at least they're more accessible because you can't actually plug stuff in the way they are at the moment and i definitely like another socket on this side just because the plan for this room i think will be to have a desk here i don't think we'll have the space but <laughs> initially i wanted some kind of sofa bed situation and a little reading nook a couple of shelves put in because downstairs you could just have like your aesthetic bookcase and here like actual books that you want to read they don't have to look that pretty because it's quite hidden away but yeah these um artexy ceilings definitely have to go as does that giant ugly vent and the ceiling light again i have no idea why they put ceiling lights like this in the 30s and also how people could still live with them because at night time it's so dark and dingy and when i was stripping wallpaper on this side i mean i couldn't even see what i was doing look at this it's not even complete so i think i want to finish these like little fiddly bits off today if we have time oh i have no idea what day we're on but this is the current hallway situation i'm almost done stripping wallpaper here i left this last night and I don't like standing on a ladder, <laughs> so Jess is going to do the higher bits, but there's all this still to be done, and up there, I've done the majority of this wall, but I need to go down and finish the bottom bits all around here, there's not much left to do here, and now <laughs> we've just started lifting the carpet on the stairs because the builders have said that it will be destroyed when they start building work so we want to try and salvage it just from a cost point of view and then we'll just get a carpet fitter to try and relay it although sorry Jess yeah. although um hopefully I can find one that can make me a runner this is not the colour that I would have chosen but the previous owners have I think they changed it less than six months ago so it's just really wasteful to bin it and you know it's fine for a hallway isn't it it's not a bedroom we'll make it work somehow and yes yeah, so we're going to try and rip up the carpet not rip it up but lift it off as carefully as possible all the way up the stairs and in the landing today and then maybe try and do some wallpapering today's a sunday by the way so i might come back during the week to try and do some wallpapering as and when i can but we're going to try and do the bits that are like a two-man job today <laughs> see wallpaper again in my life this is a nightmare this is the last room we have to do this was the least offensive wallpaper but this is really weird it's a satiny finish on the bottom and it's wallpaper with paint with lining paper and then I think with paint behind it because well this was blue the walls it's very strange this one I can't do the tops I haven't done the tops yet this is gonna break my heart. Getting rid of the dado rail, I really wanna keep it, but it's just not possible because this cupboard, the airing cupboard is gonna be gone, basically. So there won't be enough dado rail to go around the room. And also, oh God, you can't see. Um, behind this cupboard door is a chimney breast and that's gonna go. So again, there won't be enough dado rail to cover the entire room. And uh, yeah, we're keeping these drawers. It was a mission lifting these up off the carpet, which is what you may have seen in my time lapses, by the way. We want to try and keep this carpet intact because it's relatively new. And just to save on cost, keep the carpet, roll it up somehow or fold it like this, put it in the garage or in a room where the builders aren't going to be doing anything too dirty or too messy, which I think is probably every room. They've warned us that this will be full of sawdust otherwise, and it will need to be binned. So we have spent, well, two whole weekends <laughs> basically ripping up the carpet, keeping the underlay, and we've done the same in here. It's a shame though, these wooden, um, these original floorboards are so nice, but they're completely destroyed. And this is our um, stairs, basically.
and then hopefully the carpet that was in this bedroom won't be going back in here again because there isn't enough to fit where the chimney breast and the cupboard was but but this room that carpet is just absolutely hideous so at least it will fit in here because this is the smallest room we need to basically tidy all this up as best we can tomorrow but for now it is i think 8 p.m we need to go back to the flat and have dinner and go to bed and be back here for 10 a.m tomorrow morning <laughs> Good morning, happy Sunday. Jess and I are at the house. It's very early today, actually. It's just gone 9 a.m. and we're here for two reasons. So firstly, there's a guy who potentially wants to buy all of these kitchen units, so that will be amazing. I put them on Facebook Marketplace, so if you guys have ever used that, you know that a lot of people are time wasters. I really hope he turns up, not for the money, because we're not really getting much from them. They're in awful condition. Just so that it's less to put in the skips once the builder starts, and obviously costs us a bit less, just so that someone can just take them away. That will be amazing. And then we have quite a few loose ends to tie up today. Finish stripping the wallpaper, mark out where we want plug sockets and light switches upstairs. And then we have builders starting tomorrow. So the renovation is underway in about 24 hours, which is so exciting and also a little bit terrifying. It took us quite a while to like select a builder because we wanted to make sure we we're both comfortable with him, his quote wasn't extortionate, and he knew exactly what we wanted, that we were on the same page and all the rest of it because obviously it's an obscene amount of money that you're spending regardless of who you go with and in all honesty I think we decided we were going to go with this guy from the first moment that we met him and he's been really good so far I mean you, you never know it's always a risk no matter who you go with unless they've done multiple properties for you which nobody has but yeah I think we're both really happy with this guy I sent him a very detailed list of like every little thing that we've discussed that we want doing in every single room no matter how minor it is just so that when I come back to the house on a daily basis or we come back in the evenings I can like take it off as it's been done just to sort of check that we're all on the same page so yeah it's very exciting that they're starting tomorrow but before that we've got quite a few things that we need to do ourselves and if you've been watching my past vlogs you probably will have seen that Jas and I have been stripping wallpaper in this entire house um, ourselves and that's just to save on cost. We have quite a lot of work they need to do but the things that we can do ourselves we definitely want to because there's just no point but um, it's a very exciting process. I think it's going to take three months. They've said like seven or eight weeks but I think <laughs> builders always underestimate how long it will take and obviously if they get more jobs in between our job it could potentially go on for longer i think that's just the way that builders operate everybody has warned us but um yeah three months so hopefully we can move in at the beginning of july that's what i'm like really holding out hope for so yeah obviously we are very are you excited yeah very excited and yeah, yeah so, <laughs> I try not to be in camera because I look rugged. Need a haircut, obviously. Oh, because I look so glamorous. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, tomorrow's the day, isn't it? They're coming in, starting work finally. We've done what we can. We've done a lot oh, of stuff. Yeah, I've done a lot. I, mean, it's I literally work. never want to see wallpaper yeah. again in my life. People that put wallpaper, I'm convinced if ever you buy a property or rent, I don't know if, what you're allowed to do when you rent, but people put wallpaper off <laughs> to piss future owners off. Oh yeah. Well, if you hate somebody, stick wallpaper up in the house. Like, <laughs> yes. Honestly, it's the worst thing you could do to somebody. Well, that, the, like, room you just, <laughs> the room you just did last night, that had, it was started off with Oh my God. Paint, <laughs> then... So first of all, it's a really bad plaster job. Then someone's painted it blue. Then they've put lining paper over it, which is worse than wallpaper. Um, a really old fashioned thing. It's not super glued on. No, then they've put gloss paint over the lining paper and then it's wallpaper and it's just like. Then on top of that's paint. Why would again. you do that? So they painted it again, didn't they? So it's like about four or five layers of things. Like, it's then. absolutely. It is a nightmare. nightmare, yeah, that one, that one. And in a way, I'm glad that we're doing it and not the builders because it would essentially take them about the same amount of time as us. Yeah, um, maybe a little so. bit quicker because we're not professionals, but we're paying for their time. Yeah, <laughs> so, that's true. so anything we can we do ourselves, just, do just doing ourselves. it. 
Yeah, which is also why we want to get rid of these kitchen units because, again, it will take build the builder's time to dismantle them. So if this guy just comes and dismantles them, takes them away himself, so and he knows us. how to put them up to... Yeah, we're not getting that much money out of them. They're yeah, like just cool. in awful condition. Let me show you, anyway, before I keep rambling. So we have four units here. It's a very strange layout. There's some cupboards from upstairs. Nobody wants to buy these bloody wardrobes. I just want them gone. Um, this is the door to the larder that we dismantled last night and some of the shelves but um yeah there's a few units here it's very hard to show this bit because it's so narrow it's a galley kitchen so this is the wall that we'll be cutting out this was where the larder was as you can see it's a unit here unit here i am going to say to him do you want to take the oven because he can just have that for free there's units up there and down here and they've got a really weird setup i don't know why these units are so far back against the wall not here let me come around to this side so the fridge was here but jess and i have just moved it out of the way because we want to keep the fridge the washing machine and the dishwasher because we will need that temporarily once we move in so we need to wrap that up so that the builders don't accidentally bin it but yeah this is what the kitchen looks like and there's a few units here so hopefully the plan is the guy will take as many units or hopefully all of them that he wants the builders will keep the um freestanding appliances and they'll keep this sink even though it is awful because <laughs> we haven't decided what we're doing about kitchen yet i'm kind of waiting for shops to open because we're still currently in lockdown and i don't think anything i think non-essential shops officially open um, on the 12th of April if I'm not mistaken so hopefully for now the builders will keep this sink and a bit of the worktop I don't know why there's mud on the floor because our new kitchen sink will be going here with the dishwasher on the right so at least we'll have a sink dishwasher fridge washing machine and a bit of worktop and then we can live without a cooker or an oven temporarily because I have my ninja multi cooker so hopefully by this afternoon this kitchen will look very different and a lot more spacious goodbye kitchen you won't be missed this is future nishi coming back at you once again to end this video because i forgot i've literally just been editing it and realized but my next video i think is going to be a house tour from the night before the builders start the renovation which is very exciting so i hope you're all excited for that i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a big thumbs up but thank you so much for watching i will see you next week with a new video bye